all right good morning um i want us to to do pythagoras theorem today and then we shall do the fractions and then the number patterns within the course of the day i want us to finish the syllabus so that we can take on questions by questions which i believe at the end of the day we all appreciate and so we start with the pythagoras theorem We start with the Pythagoras theorem. Mm -hmm. Now the theorem says that um, the longest side, if you take a triangle, you take a triangle like this, where you have 90 degrees here, this is 90 degrees. The triangle says that the the theorem says that the length of the longest side the length of the longest side is equal to the sum of the the sum of the other two sides square we get it so let's assume here we have a we have b we have c hmm? no the the here is hypotenuse hypotenuse here is adjacent and here is opposite hmm? now with the pythagoras theorem it says that always the longest side is the hypotenuse the longest side is the hypotenuse and then the other two sides here is adjacent or opposite and so with these two here can be opposite here can be adjacent. it depends on where the angle is situated mm? but for your Pythagoras for your numeracy test they wouldn't give you angles here and here they will just give you the 90 degrees you get it good and so the formula is here and here is AC the longest side and so AC the square AC mm, is equal to AB square plus BC square. Mm, and so most of most time in your exam, maybe they will give you here, here, and they will tell you to find here. Or they will give you here, here, and then they will tell you to find here. Mm. So let's look at this example. And so I, I said the longest side, the square of the longest side is equal to when you sum these two you sum a and b and b and c all square now we're okay now let's look at this example so that you understand better okay a b c mm. yeah four centimeters three centimeters now you've been asked to find AC. You've been asked to find the angle here. So the Pythagoras theorem says that that's the, the longest side, which is AC. This is the longest side. And so AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Hmm? Now we don't know AC. We know AB to be 4. So 4 square. We know BC to be 3. So 3 square. Mm, good now 4 square is 16 square of 14 4 is 16 now square of 3 is 9 right good so AC square is equal to 16 plus 9 so um, AC square is equal to 25 right good so now we want AC we want AC so we we'll find but here we have ac square we don't want ac square we want ac so ac if you want to take take away this square you will just find the square root of the other side like this mm? you want to take this square out you want to take this square out you have to put the square root on the other side of the of the equation so that you can take this out 
And so AC square equal to 25, it can be AC equal to the square root of 25. Are you okay? Good. So you find the square root of 25, you get AC to be 5. And so this side, the hypotenuse, the longest side, is 5 centimeters. Are you okay? Good. Now let's look at another question. Let's look at another question. We have A, B, C. Let's say we have 5 centimeters here. We have 4 centimeters here. Now we have to find B, C. We have to find B, C. Now the formula says that the longest side, the longest side, which is 5 square, the longest side is equal to A, B, 4 square plus BC. We don't know BC, so BC square. Right? Good. Now 5 square is 25. Is equal to 4 square is 16. BC square. Yeah? Good. So now we can we can write it like this. 25 minus 16 equal to BC square. I hope you understand. Good. You know, the 16 came to the side, became negative. So 25 minus 16 is 9. So 9 equal to BC square. Now you want BC. You want BC. The BC has a square. And so you, you, in order to take this square out, we have to put square root on this 9. Mm -hmm. So like this. So square root of 9 is 3. So therefore BC is equal to 3 centimeters. Are we okay? Good. Let's look at this example too. Let's look at this example too. Let's look at this example. 13 centimeters. A, B, C. We have five centimeters. Now, if you have to find A, B, what it says, find A, B. Now, always make sure there is a right angle triangle here. Make sure there is a right angle triangle here. Mm -hmm. So, the moment you see the right angle triangle, that means you can work using the Pythagoras theorem. Are you okay? Good. So, what this, this, the formula says that the longest side, this is the longest side. And the longest side is always um, so it is a c square a c square is equal to a b square uh, plus b c square now a c is 13 right a c square so 13 square a b we don't know a b square we don't know plus b c b c is 5 so 5 square mm -hmm. now 13 square is 169 169 is equal to a b square a b square plus 5 square is 25 right good and so we do we make a b square the subject and so 169 minus 25 is equal to a b square right good now 169 minus 25 is 144 144 equal to a b square mm -hmm. so now we want a b we want a b but what we have is a b square so if we need a b we need to take care we need to take the square out so if we want to take the square out we have to put the square root on the other side and so square root of 144 is equal to a b so you find the square root of 144, you get 12. Mm -hmm. A B. Therefore, A B is equal to what? 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters. Okay, let's look at this question. Let's look at this question. You have C, D, E. Mm -hmm. 
the, the, the right angle is supposed to be here. So look at you have straight line, straight line. So the right angle is supposed to be here. Are you okay? Good. And so if you have um if here is three centimeters, here is four centimeters. And they ask you to find C E. So now if you look at this, you realize that this is the longest side. Mm -hmm. This is the longest side. So this is the hypotenuse, the longest side. So the question, the formula says that okay, the longest side C E square is equal to B C B C D C D square plus E D E D E D square E D C D. Now C E we don't know C E so C E square. Now C D is three, so three square plus E D is four, so four square, right? Alright, so 3 square is 9 and then um, 4 square is 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now 9 plus 16 is 25. Good, so now you want CE. So what do you do? Write CE, then you find the square root of the other side. So now our CE is equal to 5. Mm -hmm. So the length of CE. is five centimeters are you okay good and so with a pythagoras theorem this is how it works yeah this is how it works let's look at this example two let's look at this example two A, B, C, D. Hmm? Now let's look at this example too. With this example, let's say here is um, here is thirteen. Hmm? Here is thirteen. Then here is twelve. This this side. This side is twelve. Mm -hmm. Good. So now you say the question says that find find C D. Find C D. So the question has given you A D. Look at look at you see A D. A D is thirteen. This is A. This is D. A D, thirteen. The question has given you A C, A C twelve. So the question says find C D, find C D. So this is a Pythagoras. You could see that this is um, the ninety degrees. So you can use the Pythagoras. And now you see that this is the longest side, thirteen. A D. So this is the hypotenuse, the longest side, right? Good. So now let's take this angle. Now this is the angle, this is the triangle we are working with. A C D. Not the whole triangle. A C D. Mm -hmm. And so from triangle. From triangle A C D. Mm -hmm. From triangle A C D. A D square. This A D square is equal to A C square plus C D square. Yeah. Good. Now our uh, AD is 13. It's 13. So 13 square. Now AC is 12. So 12 square. Now CD. We don't know CD. So CD square. So 13 square is 169. 12 square is 144. Plus CD square. Mm -hmm. So it should be 169. Minus 144 is equal to C D square. So 169 minus 144 is 25. So 25 is equal to C D square. So you want C D. So what do you do? You find the square root of 25 C D. So the square root of 25 is 5. C D. 
so CD is equal to what? It's equal to 5 centimeters. So here becomes 5. Here becomes 5. You get it. Good. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. So assuming they ask you, uh, they ask you, okay, that um, here is 5. This side. This side is 5. They ask you to find this. This AB. Mm -hmm. They ask you to find AB. So with this one to you is simple. So with this, you'll be using a triangle ABC only. Mm -hmm. You'll be using triangle ABC only. So it will be AB. This is the hypotenuse, the longest side. So AB square is equal to AC is equal to plus BC. So AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. So AC is 12 bc is 5 mm -hmm. so let's look at this so a b a b square is equal to a c square plus b c square mm -hmm. so we don't know a b but we know a c to be 12 so 12 square plus b c is 5 5 square so 12 square is 144. 5 square is 25. Mm -hmm. And so when you add, you get 169. So AB square is equal to 169. But I want AB. So AB, you find the square root of 169. So AB, therefore, is 13. So this side is what? It's 13 simple as that are we okay yeah, so anytime you get a question make sure you see you see um, that there is a 90 degrees there's a 90 degrees then you locate your hypotenuse the longest side you locate your longest side mm -hmm. then you look at if there is any other value again so you look at what they want you to what they want you to find so with here we were told that this side was 13 this other store so we're told to find this side cd mm -hmm. so we use the formula the longest side is equal to the longest the, the longest side square is equal to the two shortest sides when you add them the square are you okay the square of each can you do your you follow you do the change of subject you get your answer as simple as that all right so this is what is i'll send you the the past question which came in your in your numeracy that is um, for those who wrote it last year. I think a question came, so I'll send it to you so you can try your hands on it. Alright, thank you. Bye bye.